Hey guys, it's Paul. I am going to give you, as quick as I can, a full introduction to Acuity Scheduling, a place where you can book appointments or sell classes, sell group classes, and schedule it so that everybody can see your availability. This is an introduction though. It's not a full how-to guide. It's really just to show you what can be done, what features Acuity have got, and whether you think you might want to go forward with it. What I'll do is I'll put this video and some other training things on how to set it up in a full free training program on my website. And that's a place where you can ask questions and you can ask questions uh, on this video as well. And that's what I ask at the start of my videos. Um, it is uh, nearly the middle of July 2020. If you've got, um, if you pause me at this point and tell me why you're here, tell me what you're looking for, tell me ho what you're hoping to find in this video. And if I don't answer it in this video, uh, I will reply to your comment and I will point you in the right direction to something that you may be looking for more specific. So just pause me, tell me what you're here for. It helps me year in, year out, make these videos better. And then we'll get into it. Finally, if this video, my free training course, gives you any, uh, any benefits so you enjoy them, a subscribe would be amazing and we'll dive in. Oh, let me just add as well, I will itemize, timestamp the video so you don't have to consume it all in one go. You will see little chapter lessons within the uh, description or across the bottom of the video. You will see different areas where I talk about different things. So you can skip to different parts that are more reflective for you uh, or you can see where you were when you come back. Don't take it all in one go, but I will do it as fast as I can. Right, let's start by talking pricing because it's always the first question and there is a free version the odds are you're not going to use the free version but you can you're going to be looking at the 15 or the 25 dollar a month version all of the um all of the paid versions have these advanced features and then you have these extra little settings on top so if you come down to advanced advanced features are here so you're going to be able to embed your schedule you're going to be able to sync it with outlook sync it with icloud sync it with google Go to a meeting, Zoom integration, third party stuff, QuickBooks, MailChimp, Pipedrive, CRM integrations. All these things come on all the pricings, all paid plans. See it there, all paid plans get these features. Then on top, so the free version, you're going to get the client self scheduling and offer unlimited services, but you're not going to get things like reminder emails, automatic time zone conversions. So they have to work out where they are to where the appointment is on the free version. Customizing your scheduling page, things like that, uh, which you'll get on your on the paid version. So the free version, you know, if you're just going to do scheduling and you're just going to uh, offer a, a, um, appointments and things like that, you can try this. Try with the free version and move up, but you're definitely going to get a little bit more functionality, a little bit more customization when you step up to the twenty-five dollar one. You start to get text messages here, reminders. You get um, an ability to sell packages, so more than one appointment at a time, and gift certificates. So if people, other people want to buy things, they can buy it for other people. Uh, you know, obviously like a gift, subscriptions and memberships and things like that. So you're going to get a lot more functionality on the $15 or the $25 version, right? So you're looking at really, really I'm going to show you the $25 version. Um, Definitely 15 or 25 is what you're going to be looking at. Yes, yes, the free version may do what you need, but I think eventually you'll end up paying because there'll be a little bit of a roadblock on some of the features you want, right? Right, let's have a walk around our first look at everything and all things. Um, let me turn some things off so I don't get any notifications. Um, in the back end. So once you log in, you're going to be able to see your menu. The first thing you're going to see is your calendar. Your availability times are in white. So whenever you set your available times, they'll be in white. If you had some schedules, um, some meetings or some appointments or some classes coming up, they would show. I don't have anything. Uh, I probably should have put some sample ones in, but we're going to add them as we go. My trial runs out tonight. That's why I'm doing it. I put it off long enough, didn't I? Uh, over here, so this is your calendar. In the clients, you'll see a list of your clients and you'll be able to click on them and see their information. So anybody who's booked in the past, so this is kind of your CRM section within here, reports, 
uh, monthly reports, revenue reports, any intake form, things you've done, any extra tips you've been paid will show up in reports. Scheduling page links. This is really important. The scheduling page is a standalone place that you can set where people can come and schedule your appointments, right? So I haven't actually got uh, any... Uh, I was doing these interviews last year where people can click and pick pick uh, whatever time they want off your schedule, right? So you have your own Acuity website page. So mine is paulnicholson.as.me. So you will be whatever you decide it to be, .as.me, right? We're going to come back to all these things as I go through. You've also got a place here. Obviously, you've got your direct link. You can embed your scheduler. So you can put the whole thing on your website. You can embed a booking button, so when somebody clicks the button, it pops up the whole schedule. Or you can put a booking bar at the top of your website, which says, you know, book now or um, schedule your appointment, whatever it might be. Uh, and you can change that. You can change the link name so as me. As long as it's available, you can change it. But that the, the scheduling page link is going to be important, and there's a lot of functionality to that. Customizing your scheduler, you obviously want it to be... As friendly as your, um, it's like your website. You might want to match the colours. You might want to match to change the wording. Or you, you want to make the wording your own wording, don't you? Put your logo up. Decide whether you want to put a, a calendar block or a individual calendars. You can completely schedule it as you like uh, and tinker with it. And there's some CSS. What's that? Custom style sheet. You can you can really tinker with the foot look and feel if you know what you're doing with CSS, which are. I would say a vast majority of us don't, so. Uh, availability. So this is where you set your availability, what times you are available. So when I was doing these interviews, I said I was available in the mornings, uh, an hour here. So I was just doing hour blocks when I was available, but you can say you're available all day. You can say you're not available certain days. And you're going to set all that sort of time for each day so that people can book it in. Uh, rooms and resources, you might have a conference room, you might have a function room, you might have an office that you rent out, and you can have all these different places and then the and then the availability of those as well, right? So it's a, a good option or option if you've got some resources that you want to rent out. You know, it might be badminton courts or um, squash courts or anything it might be. Add those as well, right? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, available so appointment types is important as well this is where you're going to set your classes or your groups or your your calls or your meetings then you can set your groups of classes um, you can sell add-ons so if somebody buys something you can upsell something else so you might have a uh, I mean this one let's just use the example right um they've got a 15 minute uh, rub to their back after they can say yes if they don't sorry if the customers extras for their appointments when they schedule like so if you're doing a, a, a back massage this is saying you could actually add a 15 minute uh, foot rub on that as well so it's an upsell isn't it to whatever you offer it's the ability to then say we also offer these features if you want to add on so the marketers will tell you the hardest sell is the first is the first yes and then the upsell generally can be easier it might be uh, sign up now and you get 25% off your first X whatever. Coupons, obviously people can buy coupons and there's also um, gift certificates in another section. This is where you can sell and say to somebody here, give it to your friend or whoever's bought it. Uh, this is the coupon to use that obviously gets them some sort of discount off that appointment. Intake, intake form questions. So this is as somebody signs up for your appointment, you want to, you might want to ask them a certain amount of questions. So I always use the example, if you say you're like a golf coach, you might want to say, what's your current handicap? What, what, um, have you had lessons before? What are you hoping to learn in this lesson? Do you have any, um, injuries that I need to worry about or I need to know about? You know, what, what are the things that somebody could fill out before the appointment in your business, whatever your business is, that gives you the information so you hit the ground running rather than having to spend the first five minutes asking those questions. That's what the intake form's for, and I'll show you it in practice in a bit. Um, packages, gift certificates, and memberships are exactly what it sounds like. So again, coupons, gift certificate for people to buy, packages is a group of, a group of 
uh, classes that you may offer and memberships some sort of subscription, right? Things like that. Self-explanatory, I think that one. Manage users, these are the people in your team that are allowed to schedule, are allowed to access things and you can add users so that it's just not you. Integrations, all these sort of third party integrations, Facebook business, I don't know what connected apps is. Uh, Zoom, so if you want to, I was using it, that's why it's at the top. Um, so the lads were, were scheduling an interview with me uh, as part of my YouTube channel and that would schedule a Zoom meeting and send them all the information for the Zoom meeting uh, and then remind them it was pretty cool. Uh, obviously you can integrate with your accounting programs. Obviously QuickBooks and Zero are the, probably the big ones. Fresh Desk as well. Connect to your um, newsletters, your newsletter, your email management systems, all the big ones. Connect to analytics, Facebook pixels, you know, things like um, put the Facebook pixel on there, then run an, run an ad against that saying, don't forget to book your um, don't forget to book your appointment if somebody came but they never went to a checkout, things like that. Advanced features, but really cool once you go to that next level. CRM, if you've got a CRM, obviously I do a lot of Zoho CRM, this would integrate with that. So anybody signing up, all your information would go into your CRM. Referral candy, this is, a, this is a, 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 a affiliate sort of stuff. If you've got affiliates and the meetings thing, so you can see all sorts of different integrations and payment settings that you need. Payment settings is the next thing uh, that you need to set up. You can do Stripe and PayPal. You can do individually Stripe, Square or PayPal, but then either Stripe or PayPal or Square and PayPal. So it's really credit card with Stripe and Square and PayPal's people's PayPal account. So you have to choose between Stripe and PayPal or Square and PayPal, whichever one you sort of use. Email settings, you can tinker and edit the emails and the reminders that go out and you can customize them for uh, whatever you want your business to look like. You know, I don't know, I'm not gonna go through how to customize these emails, but if you don't like the look and feel of it, then you can go through and edit that. And then finally, there is an account section where obviously all your account information, your billing, uh, if you're an affiliate like me, you will get an um, affiliate link. So if you wanna share it like I have, um, you might get paid a little bit of commission for people signing up if they use the paid plans. So that's really it on the, the walkthrough. It's really easy to navigate and it's not very complicated to, to worry what you need to do. Uh, I think it all makes sense, which is a nice thing. Uh, and, he, and he, you know, an easy layout to, to you. Right, let's talk about our first class group call, whatever we're gonna get up. Let's get up set up as a um, appointment or something someone can book, right? So I'm gonna go down to appointment types and you've got a choice here of a new type of service or a new type of a group class. So obviously group, more than one person's gonna be able to schedule. That's probably the only difference in these things. So I'm gonna type a new service and I'm gonna enter in whatever it might be. Example, aromatherapy. Um, I should really think of an example um, thing, shouldn't I? So um, let's think of like, a, if you're a consultant, you might do um, introductory meeting. Call it something better than I am, right? And you're gonna be able to quickly go through and schedule this meeting pricing uh, and uh, give it all the basic features. Like, right? so if you want a longer description, you know, it might be schedule uh, intro. I always like forget how to spell when I do these things live. Meeting with me. It's free for the first meeting. I was gonna say 30 minutes then, but it's easy to say. So it's gonna be free, right? But I could obviously go down and say, um, uh, show message after schedule. So if you also wanted to say, I don't know, thanks for signing up. I look forward to meeting you. Right, how long is it gonna take? It's a 30 minute meeting, right? But what you might wanna do is, is I've got to leave myself 15 minutes before and maybe 30 minutes after um, 
in case it runs over. If I'm saying it's 30 minutes, but sometimes these chats take an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 15 minutes before to make sure that nothing else runs up to it. And I'm going to take 30 minutes afterwards. So if it runs over, I'm not rushing to my next client. I've given myself 30 minutes in, you know, in between. So what it will actually do, it will, it will book, when you book a block, it will go 15 minutes before, 30 minutes for the meeting and 30 minutes after. It's actually going to block you out for, for an hour and 15 minutes. Whatever you decide to change here. And you can tinker with it as you go through. Obviously, if there's a price, set the price to, what does it say there? How is the price client? So uh, set to zero to hide the price, your client's scheduling page. So obviously, if it's a £10 meeting or a 20 or a 100 whatever it is, but I've put at the top, it's free. If you've got separate categories, so if you're in your business, you've got, um, I don't know, oh, if you're, if you're a, a gym instructor and you've got yoga, uh, weight training, uh, HIT, whatever that was, um, cardio, uh, I don't know what other things you have, but you might have different sort of categories that you want to set up, and you can add a new one here, but I'm just going to call it Introduction. Call it whatever you want, set your category, give your category a colour. Add an image if you haven't, if you don't, um, if you've got some sort of header image you want to use. Uh, and then decide whether it's public or private. So public means it will be added to your scheduling page and anybody can click on it and sign up. Private means you would have to share, share the link to this specific class for people to be able to book it. So it doesn't show up on your scheduling page, right? So create appointment. And it is now in uh, duh, 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 introduction. So it's this one, right? Introduction meeting, 30 minutes. There's the direct scheduling link. So if anybody wanted to book one, here's the link. And schedule introduction. Pick your... So this is what you would send. Or you could embed it on your website. Or you could add it to your main page. In fact, if, it, if, you, if I go to my main page, it will show up here. Look, introduction. I've got these three different types of classes. So you might have... Like I said, yoga class, uh, high intensity class, uh, warm down stretching class. I don't know what it'll be, right? So somebody would now come to this, pick their time. So remember, it's going to give me, it's now looking for this. It's now looking for an hour and 15 minute slot for me. So say tomorrow, continue. They can add their name and they will get, I'll do it, right? Let's just do it. Test 24 in. Phone number you don't need, test 2014 at paulnicholson.com. If you've got a coupon, you're going to enter your coupon in here. Complete the appointment. It's a while since I've actually done it. And you're given, here's, here's that little information we put in. Thanks for signing up. And they can add it to their calendar, add it to their Google. Oh my God, This after I do these videos, I get all sorts of... Um, emails and, and reminders come in for temporary things. So it's two o'clock tomorrow and we're all set up, right? In my email, then uh, appointment scheduled for test. I'm not sure, has that come to me or has it gone to them? Scheduling, new appointment instruction meeting. So this has gone to the customer. Appointment scheduled, change, cancel appointment, add to calendar or do it so they can come in and change their uh, they can change their appointment if they if it's no good to them. So they can, they want to schedule for another time. They can. So that is the process start to finish of setting up a schedule, right? Setting up an appointment or a class or a meeting. It's very easy to do, right? Let's offer a group appointment and a recurring group appointment. So let's say we're, we're going to offer five classes, right? So I've just tested it to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, so we're going to offer a new type of group class. We're going to click on it. We're going to put um, six-week yoga for beginners. All right. You can, you can add your description. You can add your after message. It's a 30-minute class. If you need to block anything out, you can. It's £100 for 1000 And uh, it is a fitness class, right? So we'll call fitness on category or whatever category you want. Give it a colour. Add a header or image to make it look nice. Public or private, again, do you want it to show up uh, on the main um, scheduling page or do you want it to only be a private link that you can share to let people in? 
how many people are allowed in the class so we can say 20 and the client must agree to all classes available when they sign up so they can't pick and choose so if you want them to you can click it create the appropriate type so now now you've created the class we're going to click we're going to add the when it's available and how many times right so it's a six week yoga for beginners class so i'm going to offer the class i'm going to offer it on uh wednesdays at 9 a.m right so 9 a.m and it is recurring and it's a six week class so it's going to recur six times on a wednesday uh, and it's going to it's going to repeat every wednesday six times right i don't know if that's six times does that make it seven uh, and add time so we go one two three four yeah that's right so now we're going to order we're going to rate we're going to make this class available every wednesday at nine o'clock for six times right update so here's the scheduling link again so we can go here so here's now our yoga class here's the times it's available people can sign up again it's um test 22 phone and they can pay with pay with their credit card if they uh, put in their information or they can pay with paypal let's go back and it'll just go through and book them in right so obviously i'm not going to pay a hundred pounds uh where was the price there's a price um i always miss the price when i do the videos right Da -da -da. oh it's the price on the first page right and again if you've made it public it will be on your full scheduling page so now there's here fit in the fitness category six week yoga for beginners a hundred pounds there's the information uh, and continue and this so next thing we're going to do is gift certificates and uh, things like that so we can go through this uh, and let people in right right so we can see that our our calendar page is filling out and we can start seeing our appointments and things like that um, let's go through and issue a gift certificate let's see how we can share for that fat yoga class we've just made you can see here look zero of 20 let's get some people on it so packages and gift certificate so i'm going to create a new gift certificate we're going to call it uh, yoga for a friend something like that keep it in private only clients again so again you could you could decide to keep it uh, off the main page or you can leave it you can leave it on the main scheduling page price is a hundred category is again whatever you want to choose in your gift certificate categories fitness or gift or whatever you don't have to use categories add a picture add a you know uh, buy a yoga class for a friend and show printable uh, gift certificates after purchasing so obviously if people want to print it out and give it to a friend they can expires 90 days whatever you may want to call it redeemable for total number of uh, total amount the number of minutes unlimited on the appointments you probably would put the pound amount and then you would take six days of yoga i'm not sure that would matter too much uh, again we're flying through how the features it's maybe not a full how-to guide because i don't use it enough if at all so six week yoga class and add a gift certificate please fill in the required um oh this can be redeemed for here we go 100 add the certificate and now we have a yoga for friends certificate so if people want to come and buy it, they can just go to this direct link, buy it again, and it will give them information on passing that on to a friend. Oh, yeah, that's a different link than, than um, I don't think, I'm not sure if it shows on that main page or not, was it? Ah, it's me. Introduction. Oh, yoga for a friend. So it does show up here. This is where they could buy from your scheduling. A gift certificate as well which then would give them a um i'm going to run through it all as they buy it with a coupon so you see uh, pay and complete yeah i'm gonna uh, should i make it free it's hard to test it into it without me 
doing it. I'm going to create a coupon now and show you a coupon redeeming a coupon. And then we'll go through buying the yoga class, right? I know they're a bit scatty, but I don't use it enough. It just, But you can see the feature will work, uh, even though I didn't show it you very well. Right, let's create a coupon for the gift certificate to then give to the to a friend. So I'm going to go coupon, new coupon, um, yoga free, call it that. Uh, enter multiple coupon codes if you want. 100% discount is going to make it free. Obviously, you can make the discount pounds worth or a percentage of the fee. Each customer can use this once. Depends how many times you want to use it. I, you know, again, down to you. Available on which of these certificates? This one doesn't expire and save coupon. Right, so it's easy to do to create a coupon for the packages and the gifts. So let's run through using a coupon on a gift certificate that can then be redeemed on the yoga class. Right, so let's go for the whole thing. So I'm going to go to the link to schedule. Oh, well, I'll go to my scheduling page, which is porticlecern.as.me. And we're going to buy yoga for a friend. So someone's going to come to your scheduling, buy a gift. So this is test 2030. Uh, test 2030. Note to business. This is for my <laughs> dad. Right. Um, quantity one. And then it was the coupon was yoga free right update it should zero out the price which it has complete the order yoga for a free discount applied here's your schedule here's your gift certificate so if you go to here we can print it off give it to a friend your certificate code is here or they can just schedule it so you're going to get an email i've got an email to say somebody has ordered something off me and uh, do purchase test 30 so this is to me customer is going to get the email eventually I'm not sure if it's coming to my junk um, because I'm using oh no let's have a look uh, no that's my email where's the email it's going to come through that you've purchased it I think this is to me here we go here we go I've got anything oh somebody signed up for my training right I'm not going to click on any of that but at some point, an email will come through that someone you can then forward on or you can print this off and the, your friend can schedule an appointment, right? So you can click schedule. Here's, it just says sign up. So it doesn't say log in or anything like that because we're going to, it knows it's come from that appointment type. We're going to click sign up. Let me just see. Where's the email come did I put, did I type my name in right? Paul Nicholson. Yeah, I did. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes the email to come through. None of them are somebody signing up for my training. Oh man. Whenever, you, whenever you're not doing these live videos, they come through straight away. The minute you go live, there's a bit of a delay. Anyway, so they would just go sign up. Test 2032. Test 2032. Here's the code which was on the email or was on the print the certificate, right? So that's the way you're going to enter it. Complete appointment. And your friend, family member, my dad in this case, has now signed up to um, six weeks of yoga at nine o'clock on a Wednesday morning. If I go back to the calendar, you see now before it said zero of 20. Now there's one of 20 in that class. Uh, oh, has it come through now? Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. So here's the appointment. So that's the appointment that I've just booked that has gone through. I'm not sure where the email went of the certificate. Um, I'm pretty sure it's set up. But there seems to be an, e seems to be an email missing, doesn't there, that is, um, here's your gift certificate. Might be my settings, but we can go through that in training if you are in problems with it. But now the person has booked in, signed up, and is in that six-week class. Right, let's just talk through some funkier ways of sharing your appointment schedule and how people can book in, right? So we know when we go to the schedule page link, if we go to this page, 
it is the full appointment schedule it's all on the acuity scheduling website and that is everything that you can uh, schedule share and they have to go away from your website to book in right you can change that name if you don't want it to be paul nicholson you might want it to be p nico save right so now it's p nico at as.me so you can make it easier uh, i'll change it back to paul nicholson even though I don't use, um, I don't make, I, to be fair, if I made appointments like I did in the past, I would use Acuity. Um, I don't do meetings or anything, so uh, I don't need it. Here is your direct link, right? Uh, direct links and embedding. So if you wanted to change it to something that it's just a specific meeting, so it's this introductory meeting, the link would change. Here's your direct link, right? So if you want to send people to that, that's just for that meeting and the availability of that meeting. If you want to embed the scheduler, and again, you want to make sure general scheduling page, because the code will change. Again, if you want to embed it for different. So if you've got, so let's go, for example, you've got, um, so if I go to my website, and you've got a new page that is website really slow, um, the yoga class. So if I wanted to do the yoga six-week class, right? Uh, six week class this is the yoga class i could go um if you do your you know six week yoga beginner class right and on your website you can write in uh six week info add your youtube video explaining it add whatever it might be let's go to your channel videos if i grab say a video i'm not sure if it uh, will pick it up straight away so if you've got some sort of video explaining the sale and then you want to add you go here html and you paste in that scheduler right so i'm going to paste that in to this here and i'm going to publish it right publish i haven't done this for a while so hopefully it'll work now when i go to the page i'm going to get the title however pretty you've made it and the schedule or the sign up um app for add the sign up box embedded for that class right so i've got the youtube video and then i've embedded in here the appointment just for that class Right, so you might not have all this information, but what we've done is we've created a sales page, do it a lot prettier than I've messed about with here, and add the scheduling, um, embed the schedule, right? Or what you can do is you get rid of this, get rid of this. You might call it um, appointment, appointment schedule right get rid of this and remove remove this right so you would have a blank page that would say appointment you might go here general scheduling page copy the whole thing go again to html i'm not sure if you just paste it in it might recognize it wordpress is forever changing um document so what, where, where, where? Post attributes, default template. Um, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, that's a while since I've messed with my website. But you want you might want to get rid of the sidebars and everything. Mine's going to show two sidebars, isn't it? Sidebars here. So I might just get rid of the sidebars. So now what this will be is a full page with nothing on it, with just my main schedule. when the preview uh did i update that yeah my website's really slow i've obviously messed about with it enough to break it so now i've got an appointment page and my full schedule is embedded on my website right so i might also want to do this look menus on your wordpress uh, website add a menu bar that says book appointment right so uh, here we go appointment schedule add to menu book appointment 
Hopefully nobody's on my website and about to try and do it. Hell no. Say that again. My website, oh my God. And at the top now in my menu, it says book appointment. So when you click it, it goes to my appointment page and someone can go through and book that appointment. Really cool, right? So that's embedding it on your website. Right, there's two more ways you can use it as well. So we've got this appointment page. And again, we might go back to it being a sales page for a certain thing. I'm going to get rid of that. But I'm going to say book an appointment. Um, T's not working. Um, click the button below. Or whatever. Again, you'd have it all fancy and nice. And then what this one is. So when you go back to when you go back to the schedule, the booking button for the main page, this will be a button on your side that jumps out with the schedule. So again, if I go HTML, HTML, update, preview. Now it's going to be a button. I'm not sure what kind of format it's going to look like. I guess my there. Look so. Click the button below where it's next to it. Schedule an appointment, pop up. Pops up the schedule. So now you don't need a full page with the schedule. You might have a, a cool page and it just click schedule, right? And it pops it up. That's another option. The final option, uh, and let me just get rid of that menu item. Just because I don't want anybody to randomly bump into my website and think they can book an appointment with me final option is this is a bar is a actual bar across the page right so again schedule acuity and you can in you can you can change this right in here uh, when you copy the code the more about the booking bar so it's going to say paul nicholson happy me limited schedule appointment right and that is going to be schedule bar style um uh, blank blah 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 I'm not sure exactly how you change the code. It probably will tell you in that in that help. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to go to, I've got a little plugin where I can insert code, header and footer. So I'm going to put it in my header code. So it's kind of the place where you would put your um, analytics, your um, Google Analytics or any other sort of tracking, your cookie information. And I'm going to paste that code in. Now, when you go to my website now, there's going to be a bar across the top that says, Paul Nicholson, Happy Me Limited, schedule an appointment, right? Hit right at the top. So you would have to, it's going to, it's just going to, uh, if I go here, let's just go to a different site. Where, a different browser where I'm logged out, you'll be able to see it. Here we go, Paul Nicholson, Happy Me Limited, schedule your appointment, and it pops up your appointment schedule. So again, really cool. So if you're a, a trainer, a coach, a place selling business, you can make this really a priority on your site. You can put a link here. You can do a sales page with a button or embed the whole thing. Really cool, really easy to use feature, isn't it? Um, let me go back and uh, get rid of that again so it's not going to show. So uh, really easy to do to different options for getting people to your scheduling page without sending them to the scheduling page. I hope that makes sense, right? Right guys, I know I've rattled on for around 40 minutes now, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hopefully I've given you everything you need to know or everything you need to see to show you that it's really easy to use Acuity Scheduling. There's a whole lot more it can do. And in my free training, uh, I will create pr uh, what you know how-to lessons for each individual thing, how to set certain things up, how to schedule with your calendar, how to block your time off um, and say you're busy, all sorts of things like that. Ask me the questions. I'll create a quick video on how to do it. Um, but hopefully you've got enough information here to give you a grasp that, that Acuity is really cool. As I say, if I did meetings, if I did uh, classes or group things, I would use Acuity. I think it's really great, really easy to use. Would be awesome if you signed up with my partner link. It would have been going across the page. It will have been at the bottom of the page all the way through this video. Uh, I get paid a little bit of commission for sharing uh, this information and, and you sign up via my video. And it helps me. It helps me obviously keep my training free as well. 
So any questions, you know where I am. If you've got this far and you enjoyed it, a subscribe would be amazing, but not expected. Uh, come into the free training, leave your comments on YouTube if you want. I will help out as best I can. Dive into Acuity. Uh, I think there's like a free trial uh, when you sign up. There's like a 30 day, 13 day or a 14 day free trial. Is it seven days? Da -da -da -da. Take two minutes to try it now. Not quite sure, but it's definitely um, seven day free trial. So you've got seven days to give it a go. Um, have a blast, have a play around with it, see what you think. I think it's great. Any questions, you know where I am. Thank you for watching. See you all again soon.